In 2024, Yaha Studio introduced the Horror Game Kit, and I'm here to guide you through it. Starting from the Yaha Desktop Project Management page, you'll discover the entry point to create a new project. Right there, we've included the Horror Game Kit, allowing you to kick off a fresh horror game template. Clicking on this entry takes you directly to the Yaha Studio Editor page. In the first scene, we've loaded it up with a variety of common props and mechanisms found in horror games. With the preview feature in Yaha Studio, you can instantly immerse yourself in the game environment. The startup page is open for customization by creators, name it, cover it. Moving into the first chapter, we'll guide you through the mechanisms one by one in a clockwise order. Firstly, we have a gaze kill mechanism. Players need to keep their eyes on the ghost, otherwise, a face jump scare awaits. Next, there's a patrolling ghost. Step into its territory, and you receive a heads up, providing you with 5 seconds to find a hiding spot. Fail, and the ghost is on your tail, leading to our pre-made death and respawn scenes. Trying to hide under the safe area ensures the ghost loses the scent. Onto the next section. Here, you'll find a lineup of common in-game items. Let's showcase each one. There's a hideable spot in this closet. Step away, and we'll show you toggling lights, interacting with objects, and shifting frames to uncover hidden items. A mystery mechanism hints that a book needs inserting into a bookshelf. Creators can customize these hints. The bookshelf opens up, revealing hidden items. Some doors are locked or have valves. Find keys, operate valves, and voila! Doors open. And there's more, various jump scare types. Audio. UI. 3D. And a classic turnaround kill, common in horror games. Now, let's quickly dive into the script sounds feature. The horror game kit lets creators configure different footstep sounds on various surfaces. Moving to a demo animation scene, we use animation and camera activation for a dynamic experience. Checking out other common gameplay presets, like scene inspection, we use a book as an example. Press F, and players can inspect the item. There's a pickupable item players can grab any object in the scene. We open a small cabinet with a key inside. Then, a lighter and a candle. Press T, and the candle lights up after using the lighter. Now, onto more complex mechanisms, like a multi-condition trigger after completing certain tasks. Place each item in its designated spot, and the puzzle's solved. This mechanism opens the door for intricate puzzle-solving conditions in real game production. Back to the studio editing interface, all these items and mechanisms can be created without coding. I'll demonstrate how to whip up these items and mechanisms quickly. Take an unlocked door, duplicate it, and drag it out. Go to the asset library, pick a door, drag it in, Position it under the predefined logic node for the door's opening and closing, replace the placeholder, and voila, a functioning door. Delete the placeholder, and you're good. Other game mechanisms and items can be created the same way by replacing presentation layer nodes. For players keen on crafting more complex game items and mechanisms, we throw open the doors to all logic node parameters. Configure them freely, pair them with different abilities, and make intricate gameplay mechanisms. Back to the studio features, the horror game kit supports multiple scene spaces for management. Creators can switch between scenes easily for different narratives and gameplay experiences.
That wraps up the feature update for the Horror Game Kit. We're eager to see what you all create using Yaha.